In today's video, we are going to transform unfinished wood items from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna show you 21 must-see Dollar Tree DIYs using Dollar Tree wood items. First up are these wood pencil holders found at the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to pair them with these kind of arch window pieces from Dollar Tree, but any decor piece from Dollar Tree will work for this project. But since I'm using these window pieces, I am going to paint with some black apple barrel paint, the centers of both of these, just to cover them since we will be layering the wood pieces to turn these into wall sconces. So these are really pretty as is. Like I mentioned, I got these at the Crafter Square section, as well as these awesome hinge stickers, which I used in a recent DIY video which I will have in the description box or up in the cards down below. So I'm going to take the stickers. I took four to make kind of hinges for the windows and then two kind of accent pieces that we are going to layer on top of our wood um, pencil holders for this decor piece. And then once that paint is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take some white chalk paint and just dry brush over top those stickers just to highlight the grooves in them and give them more of a pop. Now there's a lot that you could do with these um, pencil holders or I think that where they are. To me they're a pencil holder. Um, but I'm just going to add these stickers on there just as a nice accent. I really like the unfinished wood. I like that some parts are lighter than others. Some parts are darker and honestly they look really pretty as is with this nice sticker accent. But you can totally stain them, paint them. That's the awesome thing about wood crafts is that there are so many possibilities to fit your decor style. So once the stickers are on, we are going to add those hinge stickers on to these um, window pieces. Let me know if you have found these. I found two rogue ones in one of my Dollar Trees and then my friend Kristen Kay, she sent me these um, white ones that I'm using. So I absolutely love them. So thank you, Kristen. Um, I am just hot gluing these wood pieces on with a craft stick and then I do that just so it gives it a little bit more of a sturdy base and there you go. Add some greenery and you have some really easy, beautiful sconces made from wood pieces from Dollar Tree. Next up, we're gonna take these two small wood pallets from Dollar Tree, and I always save little decor pieces from Dollar Tree, like little pieces that come off. And this is Welcome to Our Home. It came from another decor sign at Dollar Tree, so I hot glued one onto the pallet. And then the other pallet, we are gonna add some height to it. I wanted this to look like a mini wooden chair, so taking some Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, I'm going to hot glue them on either side of where the you have the vertical piece going on the back of the palette. And this is just gonna allow me to be able to make this a little bit taller. So I went ahead and added six tumbling tower blocks in groups of three, as you see me doing here on both sides of our palette. Once all 12 pieces of the tumbling tower blocks are applied, it's going to look like this, and this is going to be the bottom of our mini wooden chair. I thought this would look so cute in my guest bathroom. I can put a little planter with some Q-tips in there or cotton balls for guests, and we are just going to hot glue this leaving a little bit of space and then having another tumbling tower block in the back for stability. And this is what our mini wooden chair looks like. Like I said, I'm adding this in my guest bath, taking this small planter from the Target dollar spot last year and some Q-tips, you have a really easy and functional piece of decor. If you like budget-friendly home decor and you are not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. Next up, I'm gonna take one of these oval wood plaques from Dollar Tree and I will be using the hook from this sloth piece of decor also from Dollar Tree. Now recently in a trip to Target in their Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground, let me know which one you say. I've heard it said both ways and I never know what to call it. 
I call it the dollar spot. They had this awesome pack of four stencils for $3. So I'm using that with some black paint on that wood piece. And then these hooks are really nice quality. Honestly, something like I would see in like Hobby Lobby. So I am just going to unscrew the hook as well as the hanger from this piece. And we're just gonna reattach it to our wood piece from Dollar Tree. Now, this is a great, again, functional decor piece. I'm gonna make a hanger that's great in a kitchen for hand towels or even in a bathroom. Or you can even put this in a entryway to hang a light jacket. Um, I love functional pieces of decor and using hooks like this from other pieces of decor, mixing it with a wood piece is just such an easy way to achieve a decorative and functional piece. with the functional theme, I'm gonna show you how to take a whole bunch of wood pieces from Dollar Tree and make this awesome command center. So for this project, you will need four of these larger wood pallet pieces from Dollar Tree. And before we attach them, I'm gonna take this adhesive cork sheet also from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, and I am going to trace and cut it to fit one of the pallets. I wanted to go ahead and do this before we attach all of the Dollar Tree wood pieces together, just so I can have an accurate cut since we will be covering one of the wood pieces once everything is put together with this cork. And this cuts really easy and I love that it has an adhesive back because it makes applying it so easy. Now it is time to put together the base of our command center. So I went ahead and cut off all of the hangers to these Dollar Tree palettes. And then I am just going to take some craft sticks and hot glue and really reinforce this where the seams of the palettes are. Now, since we will be adding other pieces to this, it's okay if you see a little bit of the craft stick from the back poking through, but if you were to attach these without making a command center, then just be mindful where you hot glue the craft sticks so that you do not see them poking through the front. And this is what it looks like when I have all the craft sticks reinforcing this piece. And as you see here, it's nice and sturdy while I flip it over. These palettes are a perfect base for the cork board sheet that we're using from Dollar Tree. Since there's little slits in the wood, it makes it perfect to adhere things and actually have the pin have a place to kind of poke through. So now taking this Dollar Tree um, chalkboard, I'm gonna take off the little hanger and on the unfinished wood part, we're gonna add some of my favorite Dollar Tree gemstone stickers. So I am going to cut a few sheets and since I don't want these in this green color, I'm gonna take some gray chalk paint and first color them. I am sorry for the shaking camera. I'm noticing this as I'm editing. I tried a new camera angle and as much as I like the angle, I don't like all the shaking. So I apologize for that. I will have that fixed by my next video. So once that is all dry, I'm gonna take some black acrylic paint that I already had on a brush and just lightly dry brush to highlight and give some depth to these stickers. Now going back in with that Target Dollar Spot stencil and some wood crates from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna apply that same pattern with some black paint. Honestly, these wood pieces are such a perfect base for fun stencils and I definitely love working with them and I love how fast the paint dries on the wood. So I definitely wanna do some more wood craft focused videos with Dollar Tree items on my channel. So let me know if that is something you're interested in. So while those crates are drying, I applied the stickers and I love that these gemstone stickers are already in an adhesive strip. So it makes it so easy to apply. And of course I was just short of the stickers for this. So I did have to go back and paint a few more, but as you see, they apply really easy. And I definitely think it helps give a more kind of high end look adding a border. So I went ahead, painted some more, and then it did the same thing to this strip of stickers to our Dollar Tree chalkboard. And then once everything was dry, I just applied it with some hot glue, both the chalkboard as well as the Dollar Tree wooden crates. Now this would be great in a 
desk area. You can use this for your crafts. You can use this really even in a kitchen, anywhere. And this stands up perfect on its own. And it also can be hung up on the wall depending on the space that you have or the look that you're going for. Next, we're gonna take three of these Dollar Tree little mini wooden drawers. And what's great about these is that you could take the drawer out, flip it to the back side, and you don't have to see the cutout that it comes with, and it makes it a great base for DIYs. So like I said, for this project, we'll be using three, and I am gonna use that same stencil I've been showing you, but remember, you can always use a stencil that you have or a color. Um, paint that fits your decor. So everything I show is for inspiration and it can easily be changed to fit your style. So for little drawer pulls, we're gonna take three of these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree and I'm taking this terracotta paint color from Arteza and just painting the front of them for a pop of color. This terracotta color has been one of my go-tos lately and I have a coupon code for Arteza which I always keep down in the description box below if you are interested. And again, taking that terracotta color, I am just going to paint the tops and the end piece sides of the wood because I will be hot gluing these together. There's no need to paint the sides of all three of the wood pieces unless you really want to since they will be covered in hot glue but I did go ahead and paint the border of all three of these wood pieces just so that it had a more polished look. All the paint is dry, it is time to attach the drawers. I'll put them back in and then attach with hot glue. Now this piece can be used horizontally or vertically. Now if you do wanna use it vertically, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and paint the other side just so that you do not see the unfinished wood part from the um, vertical position. But I'm gonna have this horizontal because it fits on my shelf in my craft room. And this is great for little odds and ends like beads or glitters or just small objects that you have. Or you could just use this decoratively. Um, and I think these drawers actually fit tea bags. You can even use this functionally in a coffee bar or kitchen area. So many ideas for these adorable little wood drawers. Dollar Tree always has so many different shapes of like wood plaques and pieces. So for this piece, I wanted something that I can put on my door or in a wreath. So I'm taking this beautiful teal paint from Arteza. I'm really trying to step out of my comfort zone and use more bold colors. And I have to say that I'm loving it. So I went ahead, painted the front and the sides of this piece, and then I added some more Dollar Tree stickers. I just kind of played around with them. I left them the bronze color that they were because I felt that looked really nice against the blue paint, and I did dry brush this with white. I went ahead and added a decal from my Cricut, but you can certainly use a stencil or Dollar Tree stickers. And in minutes, I have a really pretty either door sign or wreath insert. This wood piece that I'm showing you came from the Dollar Tree over the summer. I did this in a video and it actually is this cute wood sun frame, but I painted over it and I'm gonna show you how to paint it again using some black paint or whatever paint of choice. And this actually makes a really fun kind of modern accent to a candle holder. So I went ahead, painted over this wood sun piece with some black paint. And then once that was dry, I went ahead and layered a Dollar Tree glass candle holder and a Dollar Tree candle. And this is such a fun update to a Dollar Tree wood small picture frame.
Speaking of Dollar Tree picture frames, they have some fun ones in their crafter square section. So going in with some stencils, again, I picked these up at the Target dollar spot. I am going to just add a fun pattern to them. I decided to go neutral with this with some black paint, but you can use any color that you have, or these are just great if you wanna paint in one color. I have used these before on my channel, and I will have that video linked down below in the description box or in the cards on the screen. Now you're gonna wanna make sure if you're using a pattern stencil like this that you make sure the paint is dry, either let it air dry or use a blow dryer before you reapply the stencil so that way everything looks cohesive with the pattern and you have no smudges. And then I thought it would be fun to use different stencils for each of the frames. I used this also in a recent project on a vase and I love the way that it turned out. I really love using stencils. It's such an inexpensive way to add some character and a fun design to your decor. And these wood pieces, like I said, are just such great bases from Dollar Tree for stencils. Now to hang these, I'm taking my favorite Dollar Tree faux leather ribbon, the very little bit that I have left. I have not been able to find this in any of my Dollar Trees, so sad since I first showed it. And doing my usual craft stick with some hot glue, that is how we're going to attach the ribbon to the top of each of these picture frames. Now these Dollar Tree picture frames do come with a little wooden dowel that you can apply to the back if you want these to stand up on their own, but I like hanging my picture frames on the wall. I'm always switching out the pictures in my gallery wall in my hallway. So these were a really fun and easy addition using Dollar Tree wooden frames. I showed you how to use these Dollar Tree wood pencil holders um, to use as sconces, but these are really pretty if you just stack them on top of each other with some hot glue and make a tall kind of fun modern vase. So for this, literally two seconds and some hot glue, apply some hot glue, stack them on top of each other, carefully remove any excess hot glue that may be sticking out, and that is it. You have a fun, kind of almost like something you would see in Anthropology or West Elm vase, and then add some greeneries. The greeneries. Greenery. This is a pick I got from Walmart for 97 cents. I love how bold this is and it's such a simple, easy, budget-friendly DIY. Another wood item I always see at Dollar Tree are crosses. They have ones that either hang small or large, or they have ones like this on a stand. So I love this one. I love the cutout in the middle. So I went ahead and painted the entire thing in some gray chalk paint. For this, since there is the opening, I found that this looked best if you paint the front, the back, the sides, and the inside. And then once that paint was dry, I left the base unfinished and I added some of these really fun tile kind of geometric print um, stickers to this. Now this is gonna go in one of my daughter's rooms. I kind of have a modern farmhouse boho look going. So that's why I added these stickers to her room. It fits some of her other decor, but of course you could just dry brush this. You can add gemstone stickers. You can add no stickers. Really the wood pieces from Dollar Tree are just so easily customizable. And I love how this cross piece turned out. New to my Dollar Tree are these square pencil holders. So really easy, we're just gonna add some stickers and stencils to this, put these together, and this is a great option for an office or a craft room to store either paintbrushes, pens, pencils, you name it. So going in again with my favorite stencil and this beautiful olive green paint, I am just going to paint what will be the center wood crate with this. Now this Target Dollar Spot um, stencil did come with a brush, which is great, but you can also use a sponge or whatever brush you have on hand for stencils. And once that dried, I went ahead with some hot glue and applied this so that it lays horizontally. And then I thought it'd be fun to add some of these stickers. So I went ahead and did that, but you can also paint them or leave them as is. Now be on the lookout. If you do like Dollar Tree stickers, I have a huge inspiration video using a lot of the Dollar Tree stickers coming up at the end of the month. So you're gonna want to make sure your notification bell is turned on so you do not miss that.
I have this in my craft room storing my paint markers, but this also be great in an office or you can even put paint brushes. You can also even put toothbrushes in a bathroom. Lots of options for this. Dollar Tree also has these cute wood trays. They come a little bit more squared as well. So I'm gonna take some leftover of that adhesive cork we used also from Dollar Tree, cut it to size and add it to the bottom of this just so that it's a little bit more protective and it gives a little bit more of a grip. And again, this is self-adhesive, so it takes two seconds to apply. Now, I'm gonna leave this unfinished. You can certainly paint this, but I'm leaving this unfinished in case I decide to use it for a future project. I'm always kind of redoing things and the adhesive stickers as well as the cork board are really easy for me to take off, so that's why I'm doing that. Now I added some stickers just to add a little contrast to this wood, and that is it. This is a really great little decorative tray. You can put this in a bathroom, you can put this um, in a craft room like I have mine here. This also would be a great holder for coasters. In a recent video, I featured this small wood cross and I turned it into a really pretty wood bead garland. I will have that full tutorial down in the description box below, but I did the same thing with those gemstone stickers that you've seen me do in this video. Honestly, the wood pieces along with the Dollar Tree stickers are such a good combo. They really do just give some nice texture and a little bit more of a high-end look, I think, to the Dollar Tree pieces. So once I bordered the the entire cross with these stickers. I went in with this beautiful Arteza navy blue paint and it gave everything a good coat, making sure that I painted also in between those stickers. And then I did some dry brushing, which I love to do just to highlight the stickers and the color that's on there already. And then I strung some wood beads and a jute tassel and there you have it, such a pretty beautiful wood bead cross garland. Dollar Tree crates are great for small storage, but if you want to be more discreet and decorative about what you store in the wood crates, small pieces like this from the Target Dollar Spot are great for that. So this piece fits perfectly on top of this Dollar Tree wooden crate. So all I did for this was just paint the bottom of the crate. I decided to go with black and go for a very modern like black and white look. So once one coat, that's all this needed of paint was dry, I added some stickers to this for a really fun, functional, decorative piece of decor. Again, using awesome Dollar Tree wooden crates. These little wood birdhouses are so cute from Dollar Tree and they are great for tear tray decor. So for this one, I left it unfinished and just went ahead and painted the roof in black. Now you can leave this as is, you can paint the whole house, you can add a stencil, but I like to go a little bit more kind of modern farmhouse in my decor. So I added some of these stickers that I had painted from Dollar Tree. And like I said, this went on my tear tray. So in order to give this a little bit of height, you can also add other wood pieces. So Hobby Lobby has these awesome mini wooden candlesticks. So I had some in my craft stash. I hot glued this to the birdhouse and there you have it, a great small piece of tear tray decor. Going back with these Dollar Tree oval pieces, I had recently done a DIY where I used this as a base along with this Dollar Tree olive green planter to make a really fun modern sconce for my coffee bar area. So the first thing that I did was applied some craft sticks with hot glue, securing them tightly to the back of the oval piece just so that I have something to hang this on the wall with. And since I am adding something with a little bit of weight, I made sure to add two craft sticks with hot glue just so that it would withhold the weight. And I've had this up for like a month or two and it's held up just fine. Now flipping this wood piece over, we're gonna add a craft stick 
to the front and center of this where we will be laying the planter over top. I find when I'm hot gluing um, pieces that are either plastic or kind of rounded, it's good to add a craft stick just to give a little bit more stability to when you hot glue. But first I went ahead and added one of these LED puck lights that I got from Home Depot to the inside, which is the bottom of the planter. And then with some hot glue, I just went ahead and hot glued down the planter. Now I did add a small candle to the inside laying kind of on the side where the planter is hitting the craft stick just to make sure that the glue really set and I used a strong hold hot glue. And look how awesome this functioning light is using Dollar Tree items. Now taking some more Dollar Tree wood crates and wood trays, I'm gonna show you how to make these awesome stacked books. Um, my friend Kristen, again Kristen K, makes these a lot in her channel. I will link it down below. She makes awesome really like farmhouse style ones. This one I'm gonna use a combination of a teal, of a purple, of a green, and kind of go more for a vintage inspired look. So the larger wooden crate on the bottom is going to be what will be the larger book. And then the other wood crate, I'm going to divide it between this plum purple color and make it look like two books. So the purple will act as kind of a middle larger book. And then the top we're gonna paint in green and that will be our top book. I will link this full tutorial down in the description box or put it up in the cards in case you are interested. But it is really easy and such a fun way to transform these wooden crates. paint was dry, I took some of this warm buff acrylic paint and just dry brushed. And then I decided to take some paint markers and kind of make faux like book binding lines. I also used stencils for this just to give it a little bit more of a kind of vintage look. If you have a Cricut, you could certainly use decals as well or stencils. There's so many different options for this. Then I strung some Dollar Tree jute, added some faux greenery that I had in my craft stash, and these wooden crates are now a small vintage book vignette. For the next project, I took six of these wooden crates and I put them together to make this Hobby Lobby inspired tray. So for this, you're gonna need, like I said, six of the wooden crates. I used the ones that did not have the slits in them, but you can certainly use those as well if that's all you have. Then taking some of this Waverly Truffle chalk paint, I went ahead and kind of did a dry brush technique on the wood crates. I painted everything, the inside, the top, the sides, the front, and I did, like I said, do a dry brushing technique so you see some of the wood. I really wanted this to look weathered, but if you want more of an opaque look, you can always spray paint these. Um, although I find that spray paint is a little hit or miss depending, so you definitely wanna sand them down first. Um, but I did this for all six of the crates. And then once the crates were all dry, I went ahead and did two rows of three horizontally and just applied them with some hot glue. Now, since this is a wood craft idea video, I did wanna add how I transformed this wood panel piece from Arteza. You can also use like any wood kind of canvas piece you have or decor piece. And I transformed this with some Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot pieces. I added a piece of vinyl or you can also use scrapbook paper to the center. And then I went ahead and painted the front and the sides of this piece. 
I also decided to dry brush. I felt like it gave it more of a kind of weathered rustic look. But again, if you don't like that, you can certainly not dry brush or you can, totally personal preference. And then once that was dry, I went ahead with some Dollar Tree pop-up stickers. I had painted in a kind of gunmetal color to look like thumbtacks and, right, or nails, there we go. And I added those, added a leather hanger to the back. Again, since I will be hanging heavier pieces, I did reinforce this with two craft sticks just to make sure it would hold the weight. And then I added a Dollar Tree vase to the front to add some florals in. Now again, since this is not a flat kind of vase, it's rounded with some grooves, I added a craft stick first as a base and that makes hot gluing and attaching this vase so much easier. I love these small vases from Dollar Tree and I added some florals to this and this is just another great way to take a piece of unfinished wood and really customize it and transform it into a high-end looking piece of decor. Next project, we're gonna take these chalkboards from Dollar Tree. I'm using one with the stand, two without, and we are going to work on the unfinished wood part of these. So I drew inspiration from this Kirkland's piece of decor, and to get that kind of wood nail look, I'm going in with some gemstone stickers. You can certainly use pop-up stickers as well, and I am going to add these to the wood border of all three of our chalkboards. Now again, I love these because they do have an adhesive strip, so it makes applying them so much easier, and they apply really easy to the wood from the Dollar Tree products. I went ahead and bordered all three of the chalkboards and making sure I took off that sign before we apply any paint. Now I wanted to add, I'm gonna use this as a picture display because I'll be adding little clips from Dollar Tree as well, but you can also do this with picture frames um, really any piece, or you could just use like a wood palette piece from Dollar Tree if you wanna keep this solely wood, and then you can do the same thing and add a clip for pictures. So this is what the chalkboard looks like with the stickers, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them, and then we're gonna paint over them, as well as the wood portion of this. Now I love these chalkboards on the wood stand because they are great if you wanna make a larger piece stand up. So this is what everything looks like before we add some paint, and then I went ahead and spray painted all three signs as well as our base sign so that everything was white before we go in with some dry brushing. The base piece for this project is one of these long seasonal signs from Dollar Tree. I got this at Valentine's Day, hence love. And I went ahead and took off the burlap heart. Now I have used this also as well as some other unfinished wood pieces and I will link that video down below. But I went ahead, took off the heart and then I painted this in white as well. Another alternative is scrap wood. You can certainly use that and either stain it or paint it. But for this, I was drawing inspiration from a Kirkland's piece, so I made everything white. Like I said, this will be a picture display. So since I did not use picture frames, I'm gonna use these wood um, clothespins from Dollar Tree. This is a 24 pack. They also have a larger amount pack with smaller clips. So there are different sizes and options for this as well. And another way to use some crafter square unfinished wood in this project. So now we're just gonna hot glue these clothespins on to each of what will be our picture hangers before we dry brush.
I decided to use the Dollar Tree chalkboard with the stand on the bottom so that not only do I have the option to hang this on the wall, but you can also stand this piece up and make it a tabletop piece, which I actually ended up doing and I'm really liking it in my decor. Once everything is hot glued, I'm gonna go ahead and take this cocoa brown paint from Arteza and just dry brush and highlight all of those stickers we added as well as the backdrop to this sign. I found that standing this piece up made it a lot easier to dry brush. And again, I just love the way that the wood bottom on the chalkboard gives this the ability to be a standing piece. So again, you could put this on a gallery wall or you can just have it standing on its own. And this is what it looks like without any pictures. I love how kind of rustic farmhouse this looks. Again, totally transforming pieces from Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna show you how I added pictures to make this really easy Kirkland's inspired piece of decor. And our last DIY is going to be using four of these wooden drawer pieces from Dollar Tree and we are going to make a functional piece with them. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and take out the little drawers to all of these pieces. And I'm gonna link the original tutorial for this down below. I made this a functional holder for my essential oil diffuser and these little boxes are perfect holders for oils. Now going ahead and combining this with the Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, I'm gonna add some in the middle to kind of connect this and make it a larger piece. Once I figured out how many pieces I need for the front and the back, I went ahead and attached those pieces with some hot glue. Now hot glue can add a little bit of bulk to these, so just use very little and make sure you wipe away any excess. And then the top piece, so the fifth piece, I kind of did it so that there was a piece hanging as you see here. And I did that both for the front and the back. Now before I show you the rest, you're gonna see that I purposely left these tumbling tower blocks unfinished. I liked the contrast in this decor piece. So I just wanted to give you a visual of how we're gonna continue with the rest of the video, or not the video, the rest of this project, so you could see exactly what we're making. we have our front and back pieces, it is time to assemble. And we're gonna do that again with some hot glue. So taking two boxes from the Dollar Tree wood pieces and the tumbling tower blocks, we're gonna attach them with some hot glue on the sides, both for the front and for the back. So 
added a little bit of hot glue to the boxes themselves just to make sure that everything stood in place before we went ahead and painted this. Now, like I said, I am leaving these tumbling tower pieces unfinished. So once everything is glued, I'm going to add some painter's tape to them so that when we paint them, none of the paint gets on them. So this is what our base looks like so far for this essential oil holder and kind of decorative piece. And now I'm going to go ahead and cover those middle pieces with some painter's tape so that they don't get any paint on them. The top of this piece, I'm using this wood panel from Arteza. I'm going to flip it over and use the back as the base that will hold the essential oil diffuser in perfectly. Now I took some black spray paint and I went ahead and spray painted that all over on the inside. I didn't do the bottom and that is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to hot glue the wood panel that is also painted on top. And that is what's gonna hold our essential oils diffuser. And I love essential oils. I have them all throughout my home. So I always love making pieces that will store them or hold them like this. So I hope you enjoyed these 21 musty Dollar Tree DIYs using Dollar Tree wood pieces. Let me know which of these ideas was your favorite and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as well as making sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.